Did we talk about the patch? I think I forgot to talk about the patch because I was playing Dark Souls and there was a huge patch, and I was I I I don't think that we talked. We didn't talk about the patch. Okay, yeah, we didn't talk about the patch. Uh, we're not going to talk about it too extensively because it's a huge patch and there's a million. Th I mean, there's no new heroes, <laughs> but uh, a lot of changes and a lot of core changes, which is the most interesting thing when he, when he adds a lot of items as well. Uh, everybody has more HP now, there's a bunch of items that really change up the game, such as Tome, which is actually pretty interesting. Um, it really allows, in my games that I've had, it really allows for, for supports to get level 6 a lot faster than they normally would. I mean, if you're like level 5 or something, you kind of it kind of helps you get the level 6 at the 10 minute mark, which you usually really need, and that's really, really cool. Um, Aside from that, later in the game it really drops off and is not that useful, but it's it's an interesting item, and there's so many of them. Some of them are really weird, and I don't really know if they're super effective, I mean, mostly you want to go for, for bigger stuff. They're kind of mid-tier items, and they do weird things. Most of them have a lot to do with... They have a really cool... Thank you for beeping, um, car at the... yeah. So, <laughs> they have intelligence built into them. They have a cool effect that I might find useful, but they have intelligence built into them most of the time, like mana regen and stuff, and it's not really useful. It's like, it seems like these items, oh my god, it seems like these items, I'm just gonna close the window. It seems like they're just for very specific heroes, and they, they could work on very specific heroes, and that's really, like, why did you make an item for three heroes? Sorta. And everybody's trying to get them. I mean, I, I had a game where I think seven people had Echo Saber. Seven people. It cannot be good on seven different heroes. It's not good on... There aren't seven heroes I could tell you, yeah, you should get Echo Saber, okay? Um, but I guess it's a pretty cool item. And and there's so many other things that we're just not going to get into, whatever. But from what I've been seeing, and now I've been watching Epicenter. I haven't been watching up till now too much, but now I've been watching Epicenter uh, quite a lot, which is the most recent tournament, and there's so many of them. I mean, there's Epicenter, and another there's ESL, and I think ESL is after the Major, and then there's the Major soon, and, uh, and obviously we have TI in August, but there's a lot of really big tournaments coming up. Usually there's a little bit of a lull before um, before TI, but now it's like there's a ton of things coming, which is pretty damn cool. And the games have been amazing. I mean, the games, if uh, it's really early in the patch and we can't really say, you know, you can't really say if it's a good or bad patch because we don't really have a specific meta, and uh, which is a wonderful thing. And the previous patch was pretty good. There was a lot of stuff, but now it's still new. And there's the games, if the tr if there's one trend that I could talk about, it's the fluctuations. It's the roller coaster of pretty much every single game, and I've been experiencing it in my own game. I, I, I had one that I knew, okay, as long as we keep it up, we're going to be winning. But if we screw up once, they're just going to take our momentum and win. And that's exactly what happened. We screwed up once, they team wiped us, the game was over. And uh, it, w it was pretty early, but still, that's just what happened. And that's kind of the case with most professional matches right now. I mean, if you if you look at a game and it looks like completely one-sided, ten minutes later, it might be the other way around. And it really depends on the strategies, and there's so many varied strategies that are just bonkers. And a lot of heroes that got, um, um, uh, that, that got buffed indirectly and stuff like that. For instance, Armlet is really big right now on pretty much every strength hero. And that... The armlet timing really just makes you so much stronger and tanky. So uh, there are a lot of games where there's a lot of strength heroes that aren't doing so well in the early laning stages, and then they all get armlet, and then you're just screwed. And that's really cool and it, weird and fantastic. I mean, the, the, having roller coaster rides for games is really cool. It tells a wonderful story, and it's it's very enjoyable to watch as a spectator sport, which is kind of what I'm doing right now more than playing. I do play, but I'm actually watching more than playing right now. Um, which is because there's really good tournaments and, and it's a really cool patch and you want to see what the pros will do with this patch. So yeah, it's really cool stuff. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Um, let's just see how it goes. I highly doubt there'll be another patch before the international, but there might be, there might be something. I mean, we're still waiting for Pitlord. Still no, still no new, new, um, new heroes. We're still waiting for new heroes. I mean, there are a couple more that need to come into the game. What up? And there's nothing. So there might be, like, Pit Lord before, but I doubt it. I think there's just going to be nothing until after TI. And maybe after TI something will come in. Or during TI. There's a high chance that during TI they'll bring in something. Like they brought in techies, you know. They'll bring in Pit Lord in some kind of event during TI. Like, surprises in store, you know. 
possible, but I have no idea. Uh, so yeah, Dota, just watching a lot of Dota, playing Dota, and uh, I've calmed down from Dark Souls. <laughs> I've calmed down a little bit, now we'll wait for the DLC, it's gonna blow my mind again, and we're just gonna resurface. But for now, I've calmed down a little bit, I have over 100 hours, I've done every single achievement, I'm done, for now. Not really done, I'll, I'll come back to it, I just need to, I need to rest a little bit, and then I'll go in, make a couple new characters, do some PvPing. Mmm, gotta love that game. Uh, <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna watch more Epicenter, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you guys next time.